This Friday night inside the Belize City Civic Center, a highly anticipated matchup in the National Elite Basketball League 2019 Championship between Mirage Smart Hurricanes and the San Pedro Tiger Sharks takes place. As the island team takes on the defending champions, the Hurricanes have been training and preparing for the showdown. Man, what is happening here is, um, is what happens beside, behind the scenes um, to help create that championship mentality to ensure that we can, we can deliver you know, um, what the city deserves, which is another win, which is uh, what we need to do in order to secure the championship for 2019. Looking at the statistics, the Belize Hurricanes is ranked fourth, having won four games and lost two. But the team is not phased by that scoring and believes they will once again be one of the final two teams battling for the championship trophy. If you were to well look back, you know, at um, at where we were last year, right? We were in the, uh, exactly the same position. The same team that is at number one was at number one. You know, so we're we're not worried. You know, when you, when you have a team and you know you have that curve that the team would need to go. Um, and experience, you know, and, and that's where we're at right now. We're at a comfortable position where we ensure that we deliver high quality performance and that's just what we do, you know, so we're not even worried. As is the case with many other teams, the Belize Hurricanes is strengthening its core to a Category 5 team. Aside from the developmental programs that the players have done, the team has made some adjustments, swapping out its foreign player. New to its roster is U.S. baller Shannon Fowler. The 26-year-old is described as playing Belizean basketball at international standards. But it is his second year of playing professionally in Long Beach, California, and he played in Spain in 2018. Um, this team is full of great shooters, and I'm a, um, I honestly believe that I'm a great post presence. So when I get in the post, uh, I'm going to force teams to double team. And I could kick it out. I'm a great passer. I could kick it out. They can shoot from three-point line and knock down them shots and force teams to play defense that they're not really used to playing defense. Recovering from an injury he sustained during the FIBA qualifier in February is star player Devin Daly. After five weeks of not playing with his team and two losses, Daly is getting back in the groove and ready to take down the Tiger Sharks. Uh, excited to come back after five weeks and not play no ball. I know, you know, I heal up right, so Friday should be a nice show. Also, you're back in the game this Friday. Talk to us about your anticipation. Uh, well, I anticipate team basketball, um, hard-nosed basketball, together basketball, and just um, just have fun, just having fun. Uh, show the fans, uh, uh, just having a good show for the fans. You're only as strong as the weakest link, and um, every link have its own um, capacity, where it drag for the whole, um, strength of the, whole strength of the chain. And um, I don't want to lead us on the team, but at the same time, um, we have a very deep team. Uh, we have a lot of good players. So um, more than five weeks, and players, and I start to step it up. Someone there, will, someone there will, will, um, will never get, someone there will get, and I just kind of hold the ball bounce. But I have a lot of 15 of um, the 15 players, the 12, 15 players that we have on the team. All right now, that's what we're looking forward. The team has the biggest fan base in the league, being one of the two teams from the city. This year, the Belize Hurricanes has stepped it up a notch adding to the overall experience when fans attend its home games. It's a family affair, and this year, a first, the team debuted its Navante Sugar Canes. It was thrilling. It's tedious being at practice, and you have to be dedicated to be a dancer, to be a part of the agency on a whole. And the team, as you have seen, Belize, they are pushing, and we're riding right behind them. We're riding behind our boys. It takes a lot of energy. It takes dedication because we practice on Saturdays, on Sundays. We practice before we come on the court. And the thing about it is every week we try to be better than we was the week before. So it takes a lot of effort, a lot of time. But if you want to be the best and you want to keep on entertaining at the best level possible, you have to put in the dedication and the effort. Captain Akeem the Iceman Waters says that the team is going in with its defensive strength and expects that it will once again secure their spot. This win will put the team one step closer to retaining the title as champions for a third time. Defense bring um, offense and we just try to stay together as a team and, and just you know do what we do best, play Hurricanes basketball and have fun doing it every night. Uh, we take, one, take it every night, one game at a time. Every night is a grind, every night is, a, is hard work. I mean, I had a couple games where I haven't even have, had legs because of the work we put in, you know, but um, we had a meeting, we, you know, we uh, fixed that out and, and now everybody is looking good and we're looking forward to this, these games coming up. Dwayne Moody for News 5.